Hi, I'm Bruce with Trick Tools. Today I want to talk about something that we talk to a lot of our customers about, sometimes people struggle with, and that is bending square tubing. Um, if you're new to tube bending, you may think about square as being easier to work with than round. Sometimes um, if you don't do things properly or have the right equipment, bending round can create some challenges, but if you have the proper bender, um, you can get a really good result on round tubing for a low cost. You can see on a tube like this very little deformation to the tube and uh, this was done on a very simple manual bender. With round tube you have to worry about fitting tubes together and cutting a notch in the end of the tube that takes a little bit more time or more equipment sometimes. With square tubing you can simply uh, miter cut or just cut to 90 degrees the end of your tube and fit it up against another piece of square. That, that is a simple way to fit the tubes together, but the bending process can be a little bit more complex. Bending square tubing um, can be a little bit more frustrating if you don't understand the challenges, so we hope to clear some of those things up for you today and show you what the differences are. Almost all of our tube benders will bend square tube. It's just a matter of having the right die. So this die, as you can see, has a square slot in it and it also has a little bit of a bump in the middle and the reason for that bump there is to be able to push the material on the inside of your square in just a little bit so you need to have this happen because there's so much shrinking and stretching going on on a square tube bend that you have to give it a little bit of a push in the right direction so in this case, you can see this is a one inch square 065 tube, and it obviously has a little bit of um, caving on the inside and outside wall of the tube. Now you will always experience this with square tubing, unless you have very sophisticated bending equipment that can cost upwards of $50,000 or more. Um, a bend like this can be achieved with a simple tube bender, either manual or hydraulic, and it just requires the proper die. Now you can see on this bend, uh, 065 wall gives you a little bit more deformation of the tube than this eighth inch wall actually has very little. So the heavier the wall thickness of the tube, the, the nicer the quality of bend you can get. It also has to do with how, how broadly you bend it or the radius of the bend. If you bend it on a bigger radius die, you're gonna get less deformation. If you bend it on a on a real tight radius like this, you're going to get a little bit more. Now this is some aluminum tubing that can also bend easily on, uh, on a tube bender. And uh, you can see the result here with a little bit of, uh, little bit of uh, dimpling on the outer wall and here you're pushing the inner wall in to be able to allow that to bend without, without collapsing. One of the challenges that people often experience with square tubing is that when you bend square it tightens into this square slot so unlike round tubing where it can fall right out of a round slot um, in square you bend it and the tube will expand into this slot and become stuck so you may need to have a mallet or a hammer and actually hammer your tube out of the die to be able to get it free now as you do more and more degree of bend for instance like this 180 degree bend then it becomes a real challenge because so much of it is pinched in that die. Opening the die up and giving yourself more clearance on the die doesn't necessarily help because it just allows the tube to expand that much further into the die. So we've got um, several square samples here. Some of these tubes, as you can see, like this two by three rectangular, this is bent with a lot of deformation and that's done on purpose to be able to bend a thin wall thickness to a real tight radius, sometimes this is a more economical way to do it. Now this could be done with no deformation to this bend, but again, the machinery to do that, probably getting close to $100,000 to be able to do that. So a typical, a typical square bend is going to have this type of dimpling happening on the inside radius and a little bit of this um, deformation on the outside radius. So depending on your application, that may be perfectly acceptable. Uh, for some, it's not acceptable at all. Obviously, if you were bending square, solid, like this square bar here, then you can just bend it with no problem and there's nothing to collapse 
So again, it's a, it's a relationship between the wall thickness and the radius that you're bending, how much deformation you will experience. So let's take a look at the actual bending process. Okay, so we've got a simple hydraulic machine here. We're gonna bend a piece of one inch 065 tube just to give you an idea of the process. Uh, with this rotary draw style machine, it uses a, what we call a U-strap to pull the tube around the radius die. And uh, I think we're all set here. So as I extend this hydraulic ram out, the tube gets pulled around the radius die and is formed by this follow bar here. So we're just going to run out to about a 45 degree bend. And then our cylinder limits out, but that's where we want to stop for this bend. So the thing with square it would be, now to relieve the pressure slightly, but not to return the die all the way back under power. The thing that I want to do now is relieve, release this tube from this follow bar or counter bend die. Once I've got the tube broke loose by tapping on it this direction, now I can take my follow bar off. And I can return the cylinder back. Now the tube is wedged a little bit into this forming die, but that can usually be levered out or tapped out with a mallet to release this direction. So as you can see, we've got a nice successful bend in our square tube here. On the outside, you've got just a slight concave shape for where the outer wall started to uh, pull in. On the inside, you've got a little bit more of a dimple where the die actually pressed the inner wall in. But the sides are nice and flat, giving you a nice strong bend for a lot of applications. We hope we cleared up a few things for you today, gave you some ideas, and uh, please feel free to give us a call if you have any questions at Trick Tools. Thanks.